be tempted of the devil. So when you are a person that's, that's a recluse, you know, you really need to understand you might just be feeling yourself and not wanting to be confronted with people. Holy Ghost wants to be confronted with people. Holy Ghost wants involved and he wants to see that what you have works. That's right. I tell my wife early on, a lot of times, Saturdays I can't go out because I have to deal with people. Why do you think I can preach for six hours on a Sunday? Most preachers do 15 minutes. Because they're out with you on Saturday. Bowling. Pastor's cool. 15 minute message. I ain't bowling because I want to be here and punishing you for two hours. No. I'll bowl with you on Wednesday night. <laughs> Leave me alone. I play, I play Hebrew on you in a minute on a Saturday. Sun is down Sabbath. We come to my house sometimes. Look at my wife. She'll look at me like, what is wrong with you now? And I'll be laying there like this. <laughs> I didn't study yet. She said, stop faking. Get downstairs and do those dishes. <laughs> You're faking. You've been here all day by yourself. <laughs> Don't get married unless you want to live real. <laughs> Marriage is a real time. <laughs> I don't hear you praying. <laughs> Meditating. <laughs> I'm telling you, life is real. See, so you can fake, you can live your Christianity by yourself all you want. See if it works, get somebody around you. Your husband's such a man of beast. <laughs> In front of the church folk, he's nice and kind. He has patience for everybody in the church but me. I asked him a question, what? <laughs> it's an animal. It's not my wife talking about me. I'm just saying, you know. you know. And some of you, you know, you ever ride in, 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 in one of these people's cars? We ain't getting out of here unless you pay for gas. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you go in that way? It's the principal. <laughs> 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 Something about the Holy Ghost. But then... But then, you got other Christians that will leech. Don't even think about going in their pocket to give out gas. Right. So it works both ways. The Holy Ghost would have convict you saying that gas ain't, gas is not free. So it works both ways. So you got to be perfect. Get in somebody's car with your wallet open. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. Last, my last story. I was, um, I didn't have any money, didn't have a place to live or anything like that. And I prayed to God. I said, God, I was the only one with a license, but everybody else had money. <laughs> I said, God, if you get me a car, I'll drive anybody to church. So y'all know Bishop Barber, right? So I was her armor bearer, but she couldn't drive. So somebody gave her a car, and she can't drive. So I got, I got that car. <laughs> and I drove her around. She was Sister Barber right then. She is, I mean, we were going to the hospitals to pray for people. And she was like, she's like, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Florence Nightingale. She'll go up into the hospital. Talk about them, just somebody say Holy Ghost. And I'm behind her. I'm her armor bearer. And she would go up, you know, open heart surgery, whatever it is, pull the cover back and go, child, you healing good. And I said, what the? Because I'm so close to her, you know, and I'm going to look. What do you mean healing good? She's all open. <laughs> Come on. See? What happened was, because I was given a car, I was given the privilege to see stuff. Amen. Amen. See, many of you have resources, but nobody's benefited. That's why you can't say you got the Holy Ghost. If nobody's benefiting from your resources, what are you? What, are you, what kind of Holy Ghost do you have? Even the donkey rode Jesus into, the, into, the, um, into Jerusalem. Come on. Come on, think about it. If you, like, how many of you have money? If, if the church is not benefiting on your money, what's wrong with you? Why let your money be your God? And those of you that can sing and don't sing. Those of you that can preach and won't preach. Come on, come on. I gave you a voice. Don't be like Momo and, get, and don't get into the promised land. I'm shy. You ain't shy. You're full of the devil. Because the devil is shy. He's hiding in the darkness. Amen. 
The Bible says the righteous are bold. The only reason why you're shy is because you're unrighteous. I'm getting too tough, right? That's what happened when I got the Holy Ghost. I can teach on other stuff. Tomorrow, next Sunday, I'll go back to regular. Give you some milk, Luke, and some chick and some. Ready? John 1:32. And John bear record saying, "I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, like a dove, in an abode on him, and I knew him not. But he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, the same is he which baptized with the Holy Ghost. And I saw and bear record that this is." The Son of God. Now, can you imagine that? John the Baptist is Jesus' cousin. But, you know, Elizabeth, Elizabeth was John the Baptist's mother. Remember when Jesus is inside of Mary, goes to Elizabeth, Jesus gets John filled with the Holy Ghost. And, and Elizabeth said, Ooh, when I heard your voice, the babe in my belly leaped. And see, John got filled with the Holy Ghost. But they didn't grow up together. So God told John, because he had to be his forerunner, when the Holy Ghost comes on somebody and stays there, he's my son. And John said, I don't know who he was, but the one who sent me to baptize told me when I saw the Holy Ghost stay on him that he's the son of God. See, when the Holy Ghost stays on you, it's quite evident. You be a child of God. When you can only act right, thank you. I see. When you can only act right in church, it's going to be hard for me to say you, you a child of God. Amen. Come on. Come on, people. Help me. Amen. Well, this, this is my wife, right? Can you imagine if you see her clubbing and, and, and letting other men jump on her when, when I'm not around her? She can't be my wife doing that. Amen. So when we start clubbing, we've got different ways to club, yeah. right? Clubbing people in their head. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is not the disco, you know. You know, hanging out with the wrong crowd. You know, at church, you'd be like, praise the Lord. But then when your, your boys come around, yeah, man, you know, what's up, man? My, my. That's clubbing. The Bible calls it a party spirit. So you see, when, when the Holy Ghost stays on you, anybody getting this today? When the Holy Ghost stays on you, then it's evident you're a child of God. Amen. And I think I'm done. Please let me be done. Yes, I'm done. Glory to God. I'm going to make myself done. I'm going to be done. Everybody want this? I know all y'all want this, but since she's not asking for it, you can't help but get it. <laughs> the rest of you, I have your email. Beatrice, I have your email. All right, I'll send you a copy. Now watch this. Paul said like this, if I give my body to be burned, and if I have the gift of faith to move mountains, come on, if I have money to feed the poor, and I have not love, it profit, profit, profits me nothing right now watch what he says in that was first Corinthians 13 but this is what he said in chapter 14 he says follow after love but desire spiritual gifts see he said follow after love but desire spiritual gifts and this is what he said about the spiritual gifts he said they're like toys he said when I was a child I spoke as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish gifts. He said, we know in part, and we prophesy in part. He said, but when the true comes, then we're going to be whole. Amen. See, whenever you get the real Holy Ghost, you might prophesy. You might speak in tongues. You might even cast out devils. But you know that that's, what, that's not what you major on. Okay. See, because nobody... Can I be honest with you? Can I, let me bother you, Mike, because you're, you're a little more fanatical than. Now, Elder Mike, don't think for a moment you're going to be floating around in heaven trying to cast out devils and Pastor Rich. You see what I'm saying? All those gifts of casting out devils, they only work down here. Amen. They're only toys to help people now. Thank you. See? He said, but 
Desire them. Why, did you want, why would you want the gift of healing? Some of your friends get sick. Yeah. And they don't have insurance. Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Come on. <laughs> why would you want power to do the miracle of casting out devils? Some people have devils. Amen. And the doctors can only give them medicine. Amen. If I get the gift of miracles, I can cast yeah. out devils. Yeah. See, so he said desire. desire. Spiritual gifts. But, rec but don't major on them. See, but follow after love. But desire the gifts. Follow after love. See, I, I don't want to dance with my wife because then some of you are going to think that I'm being unright. Okay, here's, here's me. Here's the Holy Ghost. And then he'll whisper in my ear, go pray for somebody. And then I go like this. He'll spin me around. And then I go pray for somebody. He said, you finished? He said, yeah, well, come, come back and dance with me again. Mm -hmm. Then he'll dip me. <laughs> <laughs> Go pray for yourself. Go ask God for some money. Go ask God for a house. Go ask God for, then come back. Then we dance again. He said, now let's dance a little faster. Go, now go witness. <laughs> come on. Yes. See, it's, it's, a, it's a ballad. Yes. We're not dancing with Jesus. We're dancing with the Holy Ghost. See, because he's the intimacy. Jesus. Because when you're sitting there studying, it's the Holy Ghost teaching you. Yes. See, the, Jesus said the Spirit will teach you all things. And he will bring all things back to your remembrance. So you see, it's a dance with the Holy Ghost. See, and so if you want, if you want to dance with Jesus, you're going to have to stay around salvation. But if you want to grow, you're going to have to dance with the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost sick, Holy Ghost sick. Oh, I'm, I forgot I was here. <laughs> Oops. Uh, well, I was gone. But see, but I'm telling you, I wasn't acting just now. I really thought I was in my house. But see, that's what it is. It's intimacy. It's communion. See? Communion. Talk to him. See? Pray to God in the name of Jesus, but commune with the Holy Ghost. See? Come on, stand to your feet. I took too much time. And I didn't even give them a CD to play. Now I should find something from your, um, something slow from your little gadget thing. How many received today? Thank you, Jesus. I know it was a lot. Thank you, Jesus. If we sold tapes, this would be the tape to buy. But if you have, but if you have, a, if you have email and, and you're persistent, email me, and I'll send you a copy of it. But I believe God really wants not just this church, but His church. To yield to the Holy Ghost. You know, don't be afraid of the Spirit of God. He's the one that's convicting you even now. If there's sin in your life, it's the Holy Ghost saying, that's not right. This is not right. You know. And we shouldn't be ashamed. You know. I've been saved It'll be 30 years Amen. in November. Amen. I'm not 60. So I've been saved most of my life. But I can mess up at any moment. If I do not yield to the Holy Ghost, not just day by day, hour by hour, moment by moment. I get tempted all the time. But because I have the Holy Spirit, I don't yield to temptation. I have a vast knowledge of Scripture, but that doesn't help me. My vast knowledge of Scripture helps you. The Holy Ghost helps me. My knowledge of scriptures is only beneficial when I'm teaching. I don't sit around going like this. I 
know so much. I sit around in the comfort of the Holy Ghost. Something's not right with somebody. All evidence points to their guilt. Holy Ghost says, don't hold it against them. What do I do? Do I choose to be right? Because I have the gun. I've got the evidence that they're wrong. But no, the Holy Ghost says, don't use any of that. See? The letter killeth, but the Spirit gives life. How many times we have information against somebody and we refuse to let the Holy Ghost choose an, uh, mercy? Do you remember, um, you probably never met him personally, Martin Luther. Martin Luther was a Catholic monk who was in solitude, and God gave him a verse, and he couldn't figure it out. And that verse just drove him wild. The just shall live by faith. And the moment the Holy Ghost gave him the, revela the revolution of it, he came out, got married, made all those songs. <laughs> the church has benefited ever since. See? Up until that point, he was a monk struggling with one verse. Holy Ghost got a hold of him. He set the church free. Who needs you? Who is in bondage waiting for you to get the Holy Ghost to such a degree that you can bring freedom to them? That's the indictment today. Do we need to bring people to church? Or do you have enough of the church in you to bring God to them? Come on. I'm not going to open up this altar, but if you feel as if you want to come to it, you come to it on your own. Let the Holy Ghost lead you. Because I, I tell you this much, without the Holy Ghost, I'm nothing. But I know it. What's your name? What to the land Glory to the land Glory to the land Everybody say Glory to the land Who we 